Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. You guys remember what happened last time? Well, we've lost two more of our classmates. We've lost Ibuki Miyota and Hyoko Sayanji. One by suicide and the other by murder. And we've been well, we wrapped up one half of our investigation we're going to keep continuing. So without further ado, let's get right back into it. Inside any of the rooms in the hotel. I don't even know where here goes room is. The faster just asking me. So you are here, right? Come on. Are you talking to me? I can see. You really can get out of presents like that. I was trying to hide in the first place. Hey, which room is here for staying in? Listen well! Open the door to the cell room! I always wonder, if Gundam's like this right now, how would he talk to his family? Did he, oh, did he always speak like a high-pitched voice or something? When he was a kid and say something evil? Hey, yeah, Hajime, can you explain to me again? What happened when we first discovered Ibuki's body? It was the same as when I found it with you guys. Ibuki's body was hanging from the back of the lights. However, the little body's getting around to me. I'm gonna go Chiaki at this motel. I'm about to go back to music room. We met up with Mika and me. I'm going back to music room. The entrance to open for some reason. I see. So we have no choice but to break down the door and scan the field for the body of someone there too. Yeah, that's what happened. Hey! Who's the most important? When you want the most fun, who will find you besides Chiaki? I'm gonna go to the hall. Didn't you hear me? A body was found! Could it be? Do you turn his breath wise like Nakito in order to confuse us all? Is that Shaki? I asked that Gundam in one of them. I see. I see. It's a causation of Sonya being able to get a car. Did you think that? Those two are suspicious? Like... Well, Kyoko was killed. She turns out that his body was broke down the door, right? So as he looked to her, they're suspicious and they were with us. I... While we're at it, let me tell you my alibi, too. In the morning when I come in, I was in Wookiee Abbey. I went straight to the hospital. I saw Mika on panic in front of the hospital. I asked her what's going on. She said a Buki disappeared. So you guys saw the look for a Buki, huh? Oh, well, yeah. We, while we were circling around, we came to the motel and saw you guys there. Did you see anyone else when you circled the room? Yeah. No, I believe it's a movie theater and that street full of machines look for a Buki, but we didn't see anyone. Huh. Are you going to around with the hours in the room with you? I guess we'll be in doubt now. The time I meet Gavin now, I'm looking at the book he wasn't very long. Huh. For that short time, he's looking to kill the uncle and not go in the pool with us. It's true. The fact is, the uncle was killed. We didn't discover her body. Huh? What? Do you still doubt me? Jeez. I'm not used to it. I'm sure some things that I've seen to be doubted for. Huh. Don't worry. Even if you doubt me, I'll pound his wounds on you and case you in concrete. I watched him in advance what I had to do to end up like that. We he goes account. He up goes wrong as a summer girl himself. He's like a fuck. He's a fucker, come on. I don't want to use this. I don't think he's a fuck. This key was here for his room key. And she got it done. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to stay here for a while. I'm going to stay here for a while. I'm going to stay here for a while. Oh my! Did the door open? Yeah. The door opened the key. I'm going to stay here for a while. Her kimono? Um... Um, yesterday we just 
go talk to her. Since she had been in her room for a long time, I told him I'd be good for her to go outside for a bit. She kept the door to the room locked, but that coincidence was not locked at that time. And then I saw it. Um. He had goes crying and struggling for kimono sash. She didn't want to smell bad, so she took a shower, but she cannot tie her sash anymore. Mahi was only with us, so I believe she was having trouble with it. She didn't leave her room because she couldn't tie her kimono. You are right. The others might have thought it was just a silly sash, but it was a serious issue for her. Um. Hiyoko told me she learned how to tie her sash from Mahi room. That Mahi room probably taught her the basics. That's why she was she wanted to be able to tie her sash on Perhaps. She probably gotta forgive herself for not being able to do it, especially since Mahi room taught her. I... I couldn't really understand her feelings, which is why I said what I did. What did you say? Hyoko, by chance, are you having trouble wearing your kimono? Stupid! What are you saying? Of course I can do it! Because Mahiru taught me! That's why I can do it on my own! Uh, um, if that is the case, how about you do it someplace where there is a mirror? Do you remember the full-length mirror in the storage room at the music venue? If you do it while standing in front of a large mirror, I am confident you will be successful. Also, shutting yourself in your room like this may be bad for your health. Um... And that was when she kicked me out. It cannot be! Could it be? Hyoko remembered that? Are you saying she was in music venue to wear her kimono? I can see that happening. Yoko locked her and made sure she put the room key inside her kimono. I can't imagine that she was abducted by someone. If so, that's weird. Hey, did you tell anyone about that before the incident? Or was there anyone listening? Or was someone listening in your conversation? Um, I never told this to anyone. I had to know if anyone was listening in our conversation. Nobody knew. If that's the case, how did the killer know Hyoko was going to the music band? Sonya's account. Wait a second. Wait a second. I knew it. You can't escape from me. If I didn't find that, I'd just be dumb as i just be dumb as Yasuhiro. Okay, I think I searched the motel. Okay, I think I did a good enough job of the motel. Not time we knock until the movie theater. I'm 
About that invitation ticket, I shall I recommend you keep that thing. Huh? Why? No reason. Just think of it as a protected child. Use for a variety of common tasks. It's a limited item. Only one person can have it. <laughs> tote bag is coming. What's this? Whoa there! Who can even buy that tote bag? Too bad! Well, it's just too bad. It's already sold out. Who'd you sell it to? You're so stupid! Stupid! Fuck it out! Do the way that some. The way that some of them are going to kill it. So they kill it by. At least nothing like it so much like. Impossible! Hajime, I can't believe you bought that thing. And you paid 1.5 million dollars for it too. But even you said that it just... Even you just... Even you said you should have settled with money to get out of see that movie. You're right, but... I mean they're gonna have to buy that thing, you know? Just leave me alone! Ralph Ains director Monica represents a stunning masterpiece that reduces American audiences to tears. The Wizard of Monomy 2.5D will be screening it shortly. From the title alone, I have, a, I have a bad feeling about this. 2.5D? That's also half-assed. What happened to what happened to the one before that? Robin, please relax and enjoy the film. All right, what kind of movie are you in for? Even one of these things playing. Monokuma was born in a remote village full of old people because the death rates outpaced the birth rates. One day, Monokuma was swept up by a tornado created by a helicopter gunship during a routine military exercise. And was whisked away to Monami's country. Monokuma wanted to return to his homeland so he could go back to pestering the old people for change. So he began his journey to see the wizard Monami, who was rumored to grant any wish one desires. Along the way, he met a very loyal group of friends. Monokuma met a Monami Scarecrow who was missing a brain. When he recommended that she commit suicide... Wait! The Monami Scarecrow hanged herself and died. That sounds like, wait, that sounds like a Buki. He also met a Monami Lion who was missing her courage. So, he pumped her full of arrows. He also met a Monami Tin Man who was missing a heart. So Monokuma sliced her into lumps of iron. After a lot of other stuff happened, Monokuma finally reached the wizard Monami, the great and powerful. Two, only one out of those things happened. Missing, missing a brain? That's a buki. When she was, when she was hit the gullible with the spear disease, so she hung herself. Missing courage. That's Akane, but he never pumped her full of arrows. But Makito was just 
lying. Kito was just lying the entire time. That didn't. That never happened to him. Oh god, is this an upcoming death? Nah, it's just a movie. Eventually, one thing led to another, and he started beating the crap out of Monami. And in the end, he somehow usurped the kingdom from her. With this, Monokuma enslaved the old people, took their pensions, and lived the rest of his days in luxury. And he lived happily ever after. The end. Nakito is right, that was the worst movie ever. <laughs> Ew. Oh, wait. Yeah, so. Now then, let's meet again in the class trial. That's too disgusting. That's how I can see this situation. How was it? I shall have to ask. I took a little bit of a reaction. That was honestly the worst thing I've ever seen. It's a little kid who comes out of the movie. But thanks for that movie. Now you know, right? Yeah. Just like you said, the characters are going to really match the victims. The movie's left by hanging and she's scared close up in the movie. I just have to hear close to the body match the box and match the lion. That's true. Oh yeah, that's right, the lion was suspended. We make a complete rotation of the killer and kill three people. It seems that was impossible. Perhaps the killer was upset about that right now. Or the killer didn't go with the invitation. We should be upset about it. But I'm not sure what's even true. The wizard of money is an answer to truth for You know, so make sure you guys come to Monokuma Rock. <laughs> I'll see you soon. It's already time. So this again. I need to go to that place again. But now's not time to be a coward. The reason Buki and Hyoko became victims in order to find the truth. The only thing, we can, the only thing I can do is go. Let's go, Nagito. So we should have brief a few brain cells. Hey! My brain works just fine! Hey, hey! Monokuma, what did you do with Nakamura? Uh, I see, so you can revenge him. What? The vet? That sounds like he died! <laughs> sounds like he's say. Oops! Anyway! Nakamura's unfortunately unavailable today. Why don't you say he's active? Uh, now then, I gotta go first. I won't let him! Oh, you escape! Hey, hey! You see what he said? Don't worry about it. There's no way Nekomaru's dead. He's trying to piss us off. D damn it! Of course he's not dead! There's no way! Not in a million years! Well... More importantly, it's best we don't worry about ourselves for now. <laughs> if something happens here, every one of us except Nekomaru will die. <laughs> Wait, are you so excited about that? How about it? Who knows? Maybe we're looking forward to seeing poetic justice for man. What do you What are you uh... saying, <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. Well, let's go. I'm gonna do it! Alright, let's hurry up and get this over with. Yeah, you're right. Was 
is gonna be the first time that I've ever seen a student absent from the class trial. Everyone was inside Monica 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 um, Mikan, Kazuichi, Sonia, and now, Chi and now Chiaki. We keep getting smaller and smaller. But nobody said a word. I still was trying to figure out what to say to each other. I feel like we had to send it deeper and deeper. I went to send as far as I could go. It finally stopped. The elevator doors opened slowly, almost tantalizingly so. Light poured through, light poured through from the other side, eroding the boundaries of the darkness. And when I and I walked into that place, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Look at this place. It's dark as hell. It's like a damn dungeon. I like those pretenders on these empty seats. But two of you got killed at the same time, and Nikomar is not here either. Hey, hey! Is Nikomar very not participating? Isn't the log you should invite him? No, no! Why bother? Let's... What? Well now! Now then, let's begin! Yay! It's the beginning of a long way to class trial! Please enjoy to your heart's content! You saw the curtains that the third class trial was about to open. Ibuki Miura, the ultimate musician. She was really loud, but she was a mood maker of our group. When I was with her, I might be indifferent just seeing the notes of music. Kiyoko Sayonji, the ultimate traditional dancer. Just from looking at her adorable face, you'd never know she was actually selfish and foul mouthed. But she was trying to change herself, and she was definitely trying to come to terms with Mahiru's death. The person who killed those two was among us. Biaki Tadana, Ibuki Miyara, Mahi Kozumi, Death. I'm sorry to be able to do it. That's why I must find out no matter the cost. Of course, it's not perfect. So, this is your first sin. I'm sorry to be able to do it. I'm sorry to be able to do it. It's like I'm trying to do it. I'm still in the open despair. Has begun. And now, we're gonna cut it off right here. Sorry guys, but unfortunately I'm gonna save the class trial for the next video. But if you guys liked the rest of this investigation, then a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys back here next time. Oh, wait! Again, I apologize for not reading the other two, but I was so... But I was trying to keep up with the lineup of the people who had died. Anyway, that'll be all for now. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.